Rated R. Well, guys, Middle Age Gamer here, and we are playing Euro Truck Simulator 2, the Heavy Haul DLC. I just upgraded my Scania right here, the R730, with the, uh, I believe, the 8x4 chassis. And we're going to go ahead and pick up a heavy load real quick. So let's get back in the truck and let's go into the job market. We're going to do hopefully an external contract with World of Trucks. And unfortunately, I think we have to do a long haul. So we got a dozer. <laughs> Jesus, I don't even know how long that would take me. It'd take me like two hours to get there. Let's see what else we got. Just any short, medium routes, hopefully. Probably not. Definitely want to do the heavy haul if I can. All right, so there's the other option right there, which is going to be a little bit shorter. Still probably close to two hours total. And this is the Asphalt Miller right here. We're going to be going from Sand Builders in London to Tradox in uh, Krakow. <laughs> Krakow. Krakow. I have no clue how to pronounce that. 22 hours, 29 minutes. Uh, standard delivery. It is a high value cargo. Pays 74000 which is quite a bit of money. And uh, ooh, what about the cargo weight? 44,000 kilograms. I mean, just look at the other standard deliveries, 16,000, 10,000, 9,000, 18,000. Let me say it again, 44,000 kilograms. So I've never done this. I might completely jack it up on the way. We're going to go ahead and give it a go, though. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, you could. I get what you're saying. Just uh, sort it by cargo weight, white meat. Yeah, I didn't do that. I went through all the pages like an idiot. Let's go to start the Scania there. Make sure my lights are on. Make sure I'm in the right setting. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head over to pick up the delivery. I got to keep in mind that the gearing is a little bit different in the truck. And that we're also in the UK, or in England, I should say. So we are driving on the wrong side of the road still. There we go. Don't have to go too far to the sand builders area. I don't want to get hit. I feel like I'm going to get hit in this. It's like the circle of death in London traffic. Jesus. Jesus, man. I'm going to take my time, though. That's what all you guys would do, right? Probably not. Alright, so I think we gotta get over to the right just a little bit. There we go. And let's see where the hell this is at. Oh, it's pretty clear where it's at right there. We'll take a look at it once we get uh, everything hooked up real quick. I'm <laughs> surprised you got any wheels left on your lorry. The streets aren't horrible in London. They're definitely not good. Um, I definitely wouldn't want to ride a motorcycle there because it's ridiculously insane. All right, I forgot how to do... There we go. I almost forgot how to do reverse in Euro Truck Simulator. I'm so used to American Truck. Let's go see if we can connect up. I don't know where the center hitch is. I'm assuming it's somewhere in here. Close enough. So it's raising the trailer legs. I'm going to pull it out just a little bit. It actually seems to accelerate pretty quick considering it's that heavy. Alright, let's take a look at this. What up, Rock for you? How's it going, man? UK hype. Alright. Alright. 
Let's see, can I get behind it? Yeah. Jesus. That is absolutely insane. So I believe I have to drop my wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it now. Was it you? To help with the extra weight, I believe. I like the dump trucks have those extra wheels that can uh, lift up and down. And then let's see if we can take a picture of this. Probably not the best place for a picture, but. Hmm, not really at a good angle to take a picture. Oh yeah, photo studio. I'm gonna bore you guys to death as I take a photo. I feel like we can get a better picture than this at some point, right? Like this is not even a, a decent screenshot area. I don't, it's like a gigantic warehouse in the background. I'm gonna take, a, take it somewhere down the line as we get going. Mm. Due to the weight, there's a chance it can lift the wheels off the ground. Seriously, that's awesome. Uh, I don't wanna do that. Uh, get me out of there. Don't need that. That's what I need. Nope. Nope. How do I change? Hmm. F5. It's not it. It's not it. F2. No, that's mirrors I don't need. There we go. That's what I was looking for. All right, let's go ahead and take off. Hopefully, uh, we don't jack it up too much along the way. Just want to see it on the exterior real quick. And I guess do the wheels in the back turn automatically? That's what I got to figure out. Or do I have to adjust them somehow? Jesus, this thing is gigantic. I want to see the wheels. So the wheels automatically turn in the back is what it looks like. Huh, okay. So everything's set up properly. Oh yeah, pull next to me, that's a great idea. Go ahead and take out the other lane. Alright, let me get back inside. I think we can do this inside now. <laughs> oh yeah. I can definitely tell the difference in taking off with the trailer on. But it's not as not as bad as what I was thinking originally, so. And we got 730 horsepower, which is crazy. Thank you, Stormcatchers. Appreciate that. Yeah, I was wondering about that. Wonder what's the speed limit with the trailer? I guess it's 80, 80 kilometers per hour, I believe, or is it 80 miles per hour? Very stout truck, hell yeah. Thank you, Rock for you. What's up, man? How's it going? Gas mileage will go down. I wonder where we're getting as far as gas mileage. Uh, do we have average gas? I guess that's it right there. What is that? 37.9? Yeah, it's gotta be it. Oh god. Just 
kind of curious to see how bad or easy this is actually going to turn. Oh yeah, it seems like it turns all right. It actually stays in the uh, the confines. I'm just horrible on the exterior. It actually stays within the confines of how you're turning in the lane, which is really cool. Oh, that's this red car. Come on, red car. You can go, man. Blue car, do you want to go? What's going on, man? Don't want to pass me? There we go. I'm actually getting up to speed for once. We got a long, long way to go. 30 hours in game time. Over 1,500 kilometers. I guess it's no time for slack, and that's definitely the case. car move out the way I want to run you off the road dude move move And I am going to have to find a place to sleep sooner than later. There definitely needs to be a truck stop, if at all possible. Uh, Rock Free, let me show you. In fact, I'll show everybody for you, those of you who are just tuning in. We're going from London all the way to Krakow. This is what I'm pronouncing. I know it's not the right way to pronounce it, but Krakow is where we're going. Long ways away. Never been there. I've only been in that region a few times, too. Actually, you know what? We might be able to make it to the ferry to get some sleep there. So I'm going to keep going. Otherwise, that would have been an okay place to stop. Should have got to the middle lane to begin with. Yeah, I get what you're saying, storm catches. I actually drive fairly easy, considering you don't have to uh, steer the back; it's just auto. Make sure we're not speeding for any reason. And then we're going to take a left up here going to uh, the port. Try to get some exterior views along the way since we got such a uh, heavy load just so you guys can see it. I know I like to stay on the interior a lot. I'm just used to driving on this view. But if I get on a long straightaway or go over in a bridge or something scenic, I'll definitely get on the exterior for you guys. Oof, this is going to be a tight turn. Let's take my time. Make sure I don't snag any barriers along the way.
just to play some music for you guys, but might end up using this for YouTube. I may not. We'll see what happens. Ooh, there's a car right next to me. That's great. Come on. Should be getting pretty close to the docking area. And I believe it's going to let us sleep once we get over there just a little bit. Anyways, how, how's everybody doing tonight? Hopefully everybody's having a good day. What's today, hump day? Yeah, today's hump day for sure. Should probably hug the inside corner. Jesus, bugs, go away. Got like a fly right in my face. No, I mean, it's the same thing here, white mean. Hump day is always Wednesday. Oh, the fly almost went up my nose. <laughs> oh, God. It's rum day at the house. Hell yeah, BF. What's up, man? Uh, they gonna stop for me. You gonna stop for me? Cool, cool. I'm gonna take up both lanes because I'm an asshole. Whoa. Okay. Not taking up both lanes. Just kidding. God, I got one motherfucking fly hanging around my face. Get away. Go away. I took a shower this morning, man. Come on. Stop harassing me. I really don't want to be next to this barrier either. Oh, even better, it's going to rain on me. As if my delivery isn't hard enough to begin with. Die fly. Oh my god. Drinking apple pie shine. Sounds really, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Taking a left in here to get on the boat. Unfortunately, this isn't one where you can actually get on the boat. Here we go. Let's go to Europort. Travel time is eight hours. Hopefully, it gives us a little bit of sleep. Don't you know?